Hey guys! So I'm back with another video and today I'm gonna do like a haul slash um, light review of Lisa Eldridge's new Velvet collection. I've ordered all three collections but some of them are um, Christmas gifts so I can't review them all so I'll just do what I'm gonna be wearing. Um, so I got... So this is the velvet pouch and I'll be reviewing four different shades. I'm trying to show you guys. Velvet fawn ribbon um, myth and decade. I got the ribbon because Ribbon was the first shade that I got from Lisa like a year ago. And then for summer, I got the... What was this again? Love? No, Go Lightly. And obviously I got her new collection because her lipsticks are really like good quality. I can guarantee that. So I'll be reviewing four different shades today and I'll go with the lightest. So I'll do... The The case is the same from the first collection. feels exactly the same from the velvet ribbon that I had. She tried to um, bring, bring out the tone so that it won't look like um, you're sick. And I think she did that very well because although it looks nudey, it's like a nude tone, right? But then it doesn't come out that way from like at least on my lips and it feels like I'm not wearing anything I mean it is true that it feels a bit dry but then compared to other lipsticks they're not that dry so this is um velvet fawn mm -hmm. I'll now try the um velvet myth Beautiful. I think she got inspired by this vintage kimono. Um, so this is how I usually wear my ribbon because... Uh, yeah, this is how I usually wear my ribbon. So what I do is... There are different ways, but... This is the stain. Let me go change the lighting because it's a bit dark. Isn't it? If you just dab like this, like if you put it as a stain, it's quite similar to velvet ribbon. So that's, this is one of the ways that I wear. And then the second way I wear is more of like, I would probably like put more force in it. So it's more than a stain maybe. I'll use Q-tips and try to blend it. I mean, it's quite similar, but then it's gonna last longer, I guess. I mean, you wouldn't know that this is a velvet myth, right? But I like it this way. That's how I did with um, ribbon. And let's try with 
bullet now. Oh my gosh. I mean, I will never wear like this too shy, but it's, yeah, it's a beautiful color. Okay. Moving on to the next shade. I mean, like, I tried to remove it, but then I think it's a bit um, tinted, but so it might not be that objective in terms of the shade or shade but then i don't want to put like foundation or bb cream on my lips so yeah i'm sorry about that but then so it might not be that be objective but i don't want to put yeah i don't want to do that so moving on to oh maybe i should have done ribbon first right shoot i'm sorry guys um i'll do the ribbon now Got this like last year so i got another one because i think this is my favorite shade so it is quite similar to um myth but slightly different this is how i usually just wear like as a everyday makeup it really has an effect of like whitening your teeth so that's how i do that's how i wear I think it's really beautiful velvet ribbon, yeah. That's usually how I wear it, but then... I mean, you've probably s seen this color all over Instagram and YouTube, so... It might not be that relevant, but here it is. Sorry, it's a bit messy. Okay, my lips are like super dry at the moment because, <sighs> oh well, it hurts, it actually hurts, last year's um, velvet pouch, I think the color is, I mean they're all different but still like both are classics right, but then she, like, she also mentioned it on her video it it is like more sturdy in a way it's like yeah it's like more like squared like perpendicular whereas the previous one is i mean if you if you look at both of them they look different right i mean of course i use this i used it more but still and i think the new one is bigger Okie dokie, so moving on to the last um, shade, which is Velvet Decade. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'll like it's like brown, but not really, if that makes sense. It's really chocolatey. Hmm. 
I really like it. Hmm, it's very nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it looks like I've eaten like chocolate cake. I thought I was gonna like um, Velvet Mist the most, but I actually really like Decade. It's very interesting. Maybe it's because um, currently, like I've put layers of different shades. I'm not sure if it's like if if it's because of that, but I like the way how it is. It is at the moment. Velvet Decade. Hmm, it's very nice. Hmm. Anyways, thank you guys for watching my video. Um, I hope this was helpful. This is like going to be part one of the review because I, as you guys seen, I have um more shades, but then they're not mine, so I can't open them. But I'll probably like ask them to do a review, so. So that you, can, you guys can see from different like lip shades, lip tones, or um, lip shape maybe, if that's going to help. So I'll come back with part two. I'm not sure when that's going to be. I can't promise the time. I mean, yeah, okay, that's not important. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys how Gold Lightly looks like on my lip. But it really hurts at the moment. I just can't so I mean there are probably like hundreds of reviews on Instagram and all that but yeah it's very creamy it's not like velvety it doesn't look like this in real life that's I think that's the limitation of the camera like it doesn't look like this but anyways it's more orange if that makes sense but it's something like this it's more creamy so I wore this um a lot during summer and spring but now that I have like darker shades, I don't think I'm going to be wearing this. So that's it for today. And if you guys have any questions, like do let me know. I mean, the shipping thing was really fast, but then like the clearance thing was pain in the ass, man. Like, F it. But I actually like how um, Decade looks like. Yeah, it's, it's a really nice color. Thanks, guys.